name is Justin. Welcome to today's workout. So today's workout is going to be pretty easy and pretty fast. Now, equipment is completely optional for this, so what we're going to do today are just work three exercises. Right, the only thing we're going to do today is push-ups, sit-ups, and some type of squat. All right, so that's working full body, but we're only working three exercises. And that's kind of the key to this workout is three exercises that you're just modifying slightly each time in order to work your full body. All right, so again, push-ups, sit-ups, and squats. And just variations of those or modifications of those exercises. So if you want to have equipment, you can have equipment. If you don't want to have equipment, you don't have to have equipment. And I say that because I'm using a push-up pad. You don't have to use a push-up pad, right? You don't have, I, I like to use it because I can get deeper with my push-ups, but if you're a beginner, intermediate, and you don't want to use a push-up pad, you can use the floor, all right? Um, or, if you don't have this, you can use two dumbbells, right, to still get a good, deeper push-up. Um, you can use two kettlebells if you want to get a good, deeper push-up. Uh, also, I have a kettlebell here, but that's going to help me with squats. All right, so we are going to be doing squats, as I said. These are just going to help me with a little bit more weight in my squat. And again, it's completely optional. Not something that I'm requiring for this class. It's just something that you can, again, modify your workout to say, don't want to use a kettlebell. Don't want to use a 10, a 15, a 20, a 25, a 35, whatever you want to use to make sure that you're getting an adequate workout. All right? Um, sit-ups or sit-ups. There's really no way to um, add a modifier to a sit-up. Um, so we're not going to do that. So we're just going to kind of alternate how we're doing our sit-ups or, or working our abdominals. All right, so again, chest, upper body, triceps, back, we're going to be working with push-ups. Our abdominals are going to be working with, with our um, sit-ups. Then our legs are going to be with our kettlebell. If you decide to use a kettlebell, again, it's not a requirement, and you'll see when we get to that portion of the workout. Uh, the workout is going to go no, not on time, all right? So again, you're not going to be working splits, you know, 30 on, 15 off, or anything like that. We're just going to pick a number, and you're going to work that number, and then we're going to take a quick break, and then go to the next set. We are switching over sets. Push-ups, sit up, squats. All right, so let's try to get um, three to four sets today of that entire process, okay? Um, so just predetermine that in your mind as, as you're sitting down and you're getting ready to do your workout. How many sets am I going to do? How many sets do I have time to do, right? Again, this is just one of those workouts where if you have a very limited amount of time and no equipment, you can do this workout. If you have a lot of time and you have some equipment, you can still do this workout. All right, so you're not having to have a lot of gym equipment, and you're not having to go down to the hotel gym. Um, you're not having to purchase anything additional. This is just one of those workouts you can just decide to do. Keep it out to friends' house, parents' house, boyfriend's or girlfriend's house, whatever you want to do. All right, so welcome to the workout. Let's go ahead and get started with the warm up. Uh, so our warm up today, we're going to go pretty light on our warm up because our workout is going to be. Fitness today. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with some jumping jacks. Ready? So again, just being very dynamic today. Let's lift up your knees. We're going to be working those squats. That's going to be working our calves, our hamstrings, and our quads. We just want to stretch those out. But do it in a very dynamic fashion here as we're just warming up. All right. Go ahead and flip to the side. Try to touch your heels to your glutes. Good. All right, arms out to the side. Torso twists. Waking up our back. 
horribly. I'm not too excited to do some arm circles. These are pretty small with these. Starting out, I am going backwards with these. Take them a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger as you go. Two more times. One and two. Again, don't hold these stretches very long here in the beginning. Just warming up. All right, that's it. Do a simple, quick warm up, and then let's get right into our sets. All right. So again, we're starting with push-ups. We're going to do half of the work. It's going to be sit-ups pretty much, and then we're doing squats. All right, working our legs and our lower body. All right, so. I'm going to get a clock. I don't want you to worry about it. So, again, pick a number right, for your push ups. All right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to choose the 20. 20 is going to be my number. This is a good, hard chest workout because you're going to end up doing maybe, let's see, if we do five sets, I'm going to do 100 push ups. Okay, so keep that number in mind that if we do five sets, where do you want to be today? Do you want to be at 50? Then do 10. Right? If you want to be at 75, if you want to be at 80, if you want to be at 100. Think about your number and then work to stay at that number throughout the workout. Okay? So again, I'm going to shoot for, actually I'm going to shoot for 25 I think today. And if I have to drop to 20, I'll still be happy with that. Okay? So let's go ahead and get down in push-up position. I'm starting out with a wide grip. You can see my push-up pad. These are as far out as they're going to go left and right. Let's go ahead and get your 20 or your 25 or your 15 or your 10 in. When you're done, stop, take a break, have water if you need water today, have your towel, your towel as well, let's get started, okay? Go ahead, go for 25, ready? Let's go. So it'll be even, so I'll go for 24. Pick your number, stick to it. All right, so let's go. Go all the way down.
right, once you reach your number, go ahead and stop and take a break. Next, I'm going to do some squats, so go ahead and stand up. You're not going to use the kettlebell just to start. Just get down and do just regular squats, all right? Let's do these, um, let's do these prisoner squats, all right? So let's just pick something random, right? You guys, if you're following me at all, you know how I do squats. There's several different ones that I do. Uh, so we'll do these. We're going to be prisoner squats. Okay, so that's hands behind your head, behind your head like this. You're going to come down and knee up, okay? So alternating your knee up to your elbow, okay? Just continue to take a breath here. I just bring my water out here so that's not good for me, but you make sure you have water available and take breaks whenever you need to. Give you plenty of time between, between exercises to get that water break in, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get those prisoner squats going. Ready? And squat, lift. That's one. Be my number for squats. All right. So again, stop, take a breath. Next up, you know what we're doing? Push ups. Okay. I am going to make a small adjustment on my board. So you can see on my board, instead of going vertical here at the far end, I'm just doing a slight turn inside for the next rotation in. And if you're looking at my board, I don't know how well you can see it, but if anything in blue is working my chest. If you go to green, start working triceps. If you start working the yellow, it's your back and your lats. All right, so I'm gonna do the same with this handle. All right, hope you've caught your breath and you're ready to go. Again, remember your number, mine's 25. So remember your number and try to work to it, okay? If you have to back it off a little bit, back it off a little bit, but work towards your number, okay? Ready? All right, let's go. Get ready to work our sit-ups. So, remember your number for your sit-ups. Mine was 24. I'm going to stick with 24. Um, for this, let's do a full crunch. All right, so I'm going to do a full crunch. You're going to bring your knees in at the same time you're lifting up. All right, so that's going to be a full crunch. And again, for this one, if you want to modify, you can keep your feet flat on the floor and just do the upper body. All right, um, if you're sticking with me, Get a full crunch, bring your knees in as well. Okay? Ready? <laughs> Alright, on your backs. Remember your number. And go.
stop when you need to stop. I only got 22 out of that one, all right? So again, if you don't hit your target number, don't feel bad about getting very close to it. My target was 24, I did 22. I'm pretty happy with that. So I could tell I was getting close to muscle failure and I have more sets to do, okay? So, still going for five sets today, all right? That is, we're almost done with set two, so we're going back to squats. So, let's do, let's do some currency squats, all right? Familiar with those? I'm gonna stick with, uh, I'm gonna stick with 20, all right? So grab your number, get it in your head, squats, Curvy lunges or squats just like this. All right, remember to go deep, as deep as you can, and remember to keep your balance. All right? I think I have plenty of room. So, let's begin. Ready? There's my 20. Give you some time to get to your number. All right, good job. Towel, water, get ready for your next set of push-ups. All right. So for these push-ups, I'm gonna bring my bars in even closer. All right. These pads aren't very expensive. You can check them out on Amazon. Uh, I think it was like 14 bucks for this. Uh, and it's not turned on. If you actually turn it on, you can actually keep a count of your push-ups here. Uh, there's a photo sensor right there. So whenever you go down and go up, it counts it as a push-up. So if you're interested in something like that, I typically don't use the actual function of turning it on. But it is great to know what you're working and to be consistent in where you're placing your hands. Okay? All right, still shooting for 25, so have your number in mind. Okay, feel pretty good. All right, let's get into it. Another 25, and go. Staying on the floor, getting ready for our sit-ups. Alright, these I'm going to move my kettlebell in. I'm going to use that to trap my feet and just do regular sit-ups. Alright, so just a regular sit-up, every sit-up that you normally see. When someone says they're doing a sit-up, this is what you're doing now. All the way down, all the way up. Okay? Try not to grab the back of your head. I don't want to get a twist to hurt your neck or overextend your neck. So just be careful there. You can place your hands here on the sides of your ears just to keep yourself from pulling on your neck and your head like you do this sit up. Okay? Don't do that. You will hurt yourself. I've done it. Okay. Ready? All right, regular sit ups. Uh, I think my number was 24, so I'm going to stick with 24. If I can get there. If I can't, that's okay. If you can't, that's okay. Get as close to your number as you can. All right, ready? And you go.
one more. Go ahead and get the kettlebell and get your dog squats. Alright? If you don't have a kettlebell, if you don't have a weight to use, you can use your water bottle. Hold your water bottle up in front of you. You can use I'm using a 35 pound weight, 35 pound kettlebell. Flip it over for a regular goblet squat. Uh, my number was 20 for squats, so I'm going to shoot for 20. Okay? So get ready. Let me take a breath here. Relax for a second. All right. All right. Pick up your weight. Keep the number in mind. Go for your squats. My 20. Two seconds to finish yours. Towel off. Get your water. All right, on we've been going. 20 minutes. Pretty good. Two more sets. You get us right around 25 minutes. Looking pretty good. Decent, quick workout, including a warm up, right? All right, move this out of the way. Get ready for your push ups. All right, so if you're doing five sets, um, I'm just going to alternate back to our start. So I'm going to go back to wide grip. Again, this is a upper body chest workout. So, you know what? So let's change it up. If everyone's just doing upper body as, as a push up exercise, I'm going to start working my shoulders. So, to work your shoulders, your push up should be closer together. Your hands should be closer together. So. According to my board, red, okay, going here and here, or here and here, this is a good hand placement for shoulder workout push -up. Okay, that's what I'm going for here. Still going for 25, so I'm going to see if I can make it there. Been consistent so far, that's good. This is set number four, okay, set number four. So, get ready. And, again. Get your number and stop when you're ready. Towel off, grab water. Next exercise. Next exercise for us is some type of sit up or abdominal work. All right, so we're going to do heel touches. All right, so feet flat on the floor. Uh, the wider the feet are apart, the more difficult this becomes. Does that make sense? I believe it does. Um, because what we're doing is lying on our backs and working our obliques. Because as you come side to side to touch your heels, you're going to be crunching or contracting the abdominals and your obliques. All right? So I'm still going to go for, for 24 if I can do it. So get your number in mind. Get your goal number in mind. Try to work towards that number. Flat on your back for this. Crunch up and to the side to touch. Ready? And begin.
give it a few seconds to finish up. Getting ready for our squat, so we're going to go ahead and stand. Very good. All right. So for our squat exercise, I've already been thinking about it. We're going to stay in a squat position. So stay squatting, and you're just going to do lateral touches, left and right. Just stay squatting. All right, so just keep your hamstrings and your glutes involved throughout the workout. Okay, so just be prepared. Now you know what we're doing. All right, ready? Feet should be closer together, so not shoulder width apart, but less than or right at shoulder width. Squat down, ready? And lateral. One, two, three, four, Pretty feel good. I got to 30. If you want to do more, do more. You have to stop at earlier number, stop at your earlier number. Alright, so I felt pretty good going like 30. I can feel a little bit of a burn in my glutes. Alright, for push-ups. For this last one, I'm gonna do uh, triceps. So that's the green on my board. You kind of see my hand position here. Somewhat of a diamond. Okay. This is going to work our triceps. Still shooting for 25. Right? That's 125 push-ups and about 25 minutes. Right? So it's a really good workout when you consider you're only doing three exercises and you're doing five sets. Okay. You ready? to your goal, stop in here when you need to. Alright, next up is some kind of abdominal exercise. Alright, so I'm going to do let's keep our knees up. We're gonna do somewhat like a butterfly or an eagle. Alright, you call these hawks, you call these eagles, you call these snow angels. But we're gonna put our knees up. Okay, try to keep your knees up. Abdominals tight throughout, your core tight throughout. And you're sweeping your arms from over your head up to your knees. Okay? So that's the abdominal crunch that you're gonna get. Try to keep it tight throughout. Uh, still shooting for 24, so hopefully I can do that. Alright, get ready. And begin.
Alright. Good job. Alright, get up slow. Alright, don't get up too fast. Get up slow. Use as many points on your body as possible to stand. And then take a deep breath. Get ready for your last exercise. Last exercise is some sort of squat, right? So, what are you thinking about doing? What am I thinking about doing? Um, good lateral, good curtsy. Uh, let's try, I'm going to do sumo squats. Okay, so sumo squats, you want your, your feet further than your shoulder width. You want them angled out, okay? And you're getting down like a sumo wrestler, okay? And again, I'm going for, I think my number was 20, if I'm not mistaken. So, I'm going to shoot for 20. All right, so get ready. Put that water bottle down, put your towel down. Last exercise. Ready? All right, let's begin. with your right arm, going clockwise. Loosen up that shoulder, pull that down. Stand the other direction. All right, other arm in. Other direction. All right, good. All right, let's go down on all fours. A little cat cow. All right. Put that down. And up. Put that down. And up. Put up. One more. Down. Up. All right, go ahead and go forward, stretching out, staying on your knees. Push your elbow, keep looking up, keep on your back. Remember to breathe. All right, go back, sit on your heels. Hands on the front, now pull it down, stretching out. And that's all good. Alright, so that's today's full workout, right? Five sets, three exercises. Body. That's as simple as I can get it for you, okay? I'm trying to make these super simple so that you can do these wherever you happen to be. If you're in your dorm, if you're at your house, if you're in your room, if you're in a motel room, if you're in a hotel room, wherever you have just a very limited amount of space with zero equipment if you want, all the way up to having a few pieces of equipment, you can get in a very decent workout for your entire body. So thanks for joining me. My name is Justin. We'll see you in the next video.